Hey everybody, the snow stopped, the sun's out here in the northeast. It's time to get something done. I uh, Today, I have a key fob I need to program. I have a 2010 Hyundai Sonata. You guys may have seen this car in another video I did with Ivan over to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. We did a check engine light. This has become my car. I bought it. So, this, you may see this car again. In fact, I think we're putting a dash cam in this next. Uh, my son will be driving. And I got to set it up for him. So, I have a, we only have one key fob with it. So, I got to program another one because I know he's going to lose it. <laughs> um, I am going to try and use my Autel, uh, my 908. I don't know if it can do the key fob. One of those things we're going to have to get it here, hook it up, see what it can do. For those that may be watching and go, well, that's great, you know, if if, uh, if the Autel doesn't do it, then, you know, what good is it? And if it does do it, well, I don't have an Autel, so I'm not going to go buy one just to do one key fob. I'm going to go to the locksmith. Um, but I think it's more interesting, and here's the point. Some of these scanners, let me back up. Common question is, what scanner is the best? Uh, and as our friend Keith over at New Level I look up to him dearly, says it the best, the one that works on what you're working on today. Because no scanner does everything. And as I'm finding, well, as I've known and a lot of you know and we continue to find out, some of these scanners, scan tools, some things they're just not meant to do and then other things they're meant to do, they don't. There are gaps and holes in, in functionality and and just it's 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 pretty nerve-wracking uh, I had it yesterday my brand new 908 wouldn't connect to a simple 07 Honda I had to go back and use my 10 year old launch worked fine so that's the aggravation I guess that's the point of you know watching these videos let's find out what works what doesn't work what's supposed to work where the gaps are um, it's always nice to see hey that's my tool it does work okay if I come across it now I know I can use my Autel on that that particular uh, vehicle uh, i know erico up at south main auto did one on a honda he was programming honda key fobs and he was using the autel and i thought oh that's neat okay i gotta keep that in mind i know my scanner works on that car now um it's beyond frustrating uh, to think your scanner is supposed to do uh you hope that it does a fair amount of what you need it to do and then you find out well it either it wasn't designed or it is and it just they screwed up uh, so hang in there let me go get the Scanner, we'll hook it up. We'll see if we can't get this key fob programmed. And uh, let's see what we make out. Hopefully, we won't be disappointed. Ah, okay, let's try to get this done. I had one of the youngins come home from school and tell me about her wonderful day. So, that always takes precedence over car repair. Little auto detect. Hey, look at that. USA. That is my car. Let's try hot function. Sometimes it's in there. Ah, nope. Did I miss it? Yep. It's right there. That's because the old old bat don't have his glasses on. Remove the ignition key from the cylinder. Press OK button. Wait two seconds, then press the lock button on the transmission transmitter for more than one second. Press OK when you're ready. Hmm. Try to do this without shaking too much. Take it out, press the OK button, press the lock button for more than one second, and then press the OK again. First transmitter is registered. Press OK button if you want to do another one. Yes, I do. Okay. Let's 
Second one is saved. Look at that. Ta-da. What should I say? Wait, hold on. Ta-da. Uh, press OK if you want to save another transmitter. Cancel. Two is fine. Now. Now for a big moment. Let's close the door. Ta-da. It works. Well, turn this around. Simple as that, it works. It's nice when something works sometimes. Um, all in all, I like the Maxisys, the 908. Um, I haven't put it through all the paces yet. Uh, <laughs> I know uh, Keith's not a big fan sometimes, um, but he's the toughest critic, and uh, I respect his uh, opinion. But guys, you know, it's like I said, like uh, like we said, uh, don't count on just one scan tool. You really need two and three. Um, it's a shame, but it's just the way it is. And that's just that, and that's just generic. I'm not even getting into the OE stuff. But if you want to do, you want to try to cover your bases with uh, bi-directional, some some simple coding, then yeah, you're gonna need more, definitely more than one. Don't count on one device. You'll be let down. You'll be disappointed. Yesterday, I was pulling my hair out with this thing. Um, anyway, so if you have any Hyundai's, you gotta program some new key fobs. The hotel works fine. I hope you found that interesting. If you have any requests, any comments, any criticisms, leave it in the comments. Don't beat me up too bad. I'm, I'm still trying. Um, and uh, actually keep an eye out because we're we'll going to be doing a dash cam installation in this car next. Hope everybody's well. Be safe. Thanks for watching.